Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A'udzu billahi minasy syaithanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Qalu inna tatayyarna bikum la in lam tantahu lanarjumannakum wa la yamassannakum minna adzabun alim qalu ta'irukum ma'akum a in dhukkirtum bal antum qaumun musrifun وَجَاءَ مِنْ أَقْصَى الْمَدِينَةِ رَجُلٌ يَسْعَى قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ اتَّبِعُوا الْمُرْسَلِينَ اتَّبِعُوا مَنْ لَا يَسْأَلُكُمْ أَجْرًا وَهُمْ مُهْتَدُونَ الله العظيم So this is a <coughs> ayah number 18 سورة ياسين قالوا إنا تطيرنا بكم لئن لم تنتهوا لنرجمنكم ولا يمسنكم منا عذاب أليم This is the continuation of the story of messengers first Allah سبحانه وتعالى sent two and then later on three messengers to a town to a قرية and the people rejected first time and also second time and they said that you are not prophets and you are lying and god has not sent anything upon anyone okay then after that they said qalu inna tatayyarna bikum they yani the people of the town said we take you as a bad omen for us if you do not desist we will certainly stone you and you will be afflicted by a painful punishment from us lanarjumannakum wa la yamassannakum min adhabun alim we will stone you and you will be afflicted by a painful punishment from us so they threatened them and also they <clears throat> accused them with they accused them with um the hardships that they brought to this town so they said that inna tatayyarna bikum we take you as a bad omen for us the word here used tatayyar tatayyara and <clears throat> this word or this term this word we can say it came from tayr which mean bird because arabs they used to take good and bad omen using the bird for instance when someone pl was planning to travel then he would release a bird if the bird would fly on the right side then he would take the good omen and say that yes he should uh, move forward and you know travel and if the bird would fly to the left then he would say no okay uh it is not good time to travel okay also as we will explain later on uh, you know similar practices related to the birds so among the arab and even before arab um the people would take bad and good omen especially bad omens so they would consider some places bad sometimes you know bad time of the day um some uh, some animals bad like black uh, cat 
or black dog or uh, owl. So they would consider them uh, as bringing uh, wretchedness, okay. uh, bringing, them, bringing bad effect to them. So similar thing they said here, that inna tatayyarna bikum. They said that to, they said to these prophets, these messengers, that since you came to our town, we are facing hardships, we are facing troubles. Okay. Um, we have dispute among each other. The people are divided about you. Some people are saying that you are good people, and some other people are saying that you are bad people. So you brought division to us. And this wasn't a new phenomena. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran that uh, Quraysh, they also accused Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and uh, the, the, the believers that you, we, we take you as bad omen. You caused fitna. In our society. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. وَإِن تُصِبْهُمْ سَيِّئَةٌ يَقُولُ هَذِهِ مِنْ عِنْدِكَ قُلْ كُلٌّ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ فَمَا لِهَوْلَاءِ الْقَوْمِ لَا يَكَادُونَ يَفْقَهُونَ حَدِيثًا That if they are afflicted with evil, with uh, harm, with something, uh, something unpleasant. So they say هَذِهِ مِنْ عِنْدِكَ This is, هَذِهِ مِنْ عِنْدِكَ This is from you, O, o Muhammad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kullum min indillah. Everything is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, good or bad. Nothing can happen without the permission of Allah, without the Mashiach of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That should be uh, our aqidah, the aqidah of the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said about uh, the people of Samud. People of Samud, they said the same thing to Saleh alayhi salam. قَالُوا طَيِّرْنَا بِكَ وَبِمَنْ مَعَكَ قَالَ طَائِرُكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ People of Samud, they said to Saleh alayhi salam, اِطَّيَّرْنَا We take a bad omen of you. We take you as bad omen. وَبِمَنْ مَعَكَ And also those who are with you, you need the believers. قَالَ طَائِرُكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ Saleh alayhi salam said, your bad omen or your omen is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yani, no one can bring anything, any, 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 anything bad. No one can bring any calamity, any hardship. Someone's, you know, arrival or someone's leaving does not, doesn't bring uh, good or bad condition to the people. Yes, if someone, of course, you know, physically he is doing something. And he, Muslim, he is killing the people, he is fighting with the people, he is arguing with the people, that's different. But just someone came in a town, he stepped in a town, he stepped in a house, or he, he stepped out of the house, out of a town. Okay. And <clears throat> um, so then uh, it, it brings, you know, uh, the, 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 the bad result or the good result to the people. No, it doesn't happen. Similarly, Fir'aun and his people said to Musa alayhi salam that فَإِذَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْحَسَنَةُ قَالُوا لَنَا هَذِهِ وَإِن تُصِبْهُمْ سَيَّةٌ يَتَّيَّرُوا بِمُوسَى وَمَنْ مَعَ فَإِذَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْحَسَنَةُ That whenever they would experience something good, they would receive something good from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قَالُوا لَنَا هَذِهِ They would say, لَنَا هَذِهِ Yes, we, we deserve it. It belongs to us. وَإِن تُصِبْهُمْ سَيِّيَةٌ And if they are afflicted with hardship, with something evil, so they would uh, then take bad omen with Musa alayhi salam and his followers, Bani Israel. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah uh, Bani Israel, He said that وَكُلَّ إِنسَانٍ أَلْزَمْنَاهُ طَائِرَهُ فِي عُنُوهِ We attached and we, we fastened 
everyone's omen, everyone's fate, everyone's uh, destiny, you know, to his neck. To his neck. Which means that if someone is experiencing a hardship, it is due to his own doing, wrongdoing. Or if not wrongdoing, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing him. And if someone is experiencing uh, something, you know, pleasant, something uh, good, then either because he did something good or either Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing him or giving him respite. But no one can blame any other person that it is you who caused me such and such thing. So th there is no concept in Islam. Because everything is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and every, you know, wrong, also, every, every bad is uh, also come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, the cause of the evil and the bad are the people themselves. <clears throat> so it came in the hadith of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said, لا عدوى ولا طيرة ولا هامتة ولا صفر ولا نوء ولا غولة أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned few things which are related to this you know omen good or bad omen so Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says لا عدوى there is no con contagion there is no infection okay, any diseases Okay, naturally, any by themselves, they are not contagious or infectious. Yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made some of the diseases uh, in, infectious or uh, uh, contagious. But they are not always contagious. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, allow them, let them, then they transfer and um, move from one person, transfer from one person to another person. Okay. So, la, la adwa. Then he says, la tiyarata. There is no good, uh, there is no bad omen. There is no uh, tasha'um. Another word for bad omen in Arabic is tasha'um. So, no, there is no tasha'um. La tiyarata. Wa la hamata. Hama. Some scholars, they say that hama refer to owl because Arab would consider the bird owl uh, as like a wretched, you know, bird. Uh, if the, the, the owl sit on someone's house, uh, it means that this person or his family or, uh, you know, they will die soon. So they would not like this bird. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, La hama. Wala safar. Safar is, is, is a month in Islamic calendar. Safar. So Arab would also consider the month of Safar as, uh, you know, uh, uh, wretched and, you know, bad month. Uh, <clears throat> they would not uh, hold weddings and they would not hold, you know, other occasions in the month of Safar. So Prophet wasallam says that there is no concept that Safar this month or any other month Bad. Wala nawa, wala gaula. Now, it refers to uh, stars. Okay. Uh, so Arab, they would think that rising or setting of such and such stars, good and bad for them, good and bad for the people, okay, for the world. So if such and such a star rises, then there is. There will be wars, battles, and if the other star, you know, would rise, then there will be peace. So Prophet ﷺ says, La nawa. That stars themselves, they are not, they don't have power. Okay. They don't have ability to, to bring hardship or to bring good to the people. And finally, wala gawla. Okay, gawl is referring to uh Bad jinns, okay. uh, shayateen. So Arab, they would think that there are some jinns who have control 
over you know diff some areas okay. like human being they own you know uh, the lands so maslan this land belong to this person that land belong to the other person similarly they would think that uh, the, the, the land and the different areas belong to different uh, jinn and if you do not do not take the permission of that particular jinn then it's going to harm you so whenever they would decide to descend in a place at night when traveling, so then they would ask okay, that whoever the jinn, whoever the owner of this land, we seek his permission. Okay, so Prophet says that, no, la hawl. And then he says, al-fal. What pleases me is the good omen. Though again, Nothing, you know, can be good by itself without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it is jaiz, it is, uh, you know, mubah, even it is, you know, better to take good omen. Because even if it does not change anything, at least it brings good feeling to the person. Okay, Maslan, uh, someone's name is, you know, Saeed. Okay. So someone call. His name Saeed. So we will say, oh, uh, our day will be good. Okay. Uh, today will be a good day. Okay, because someone called Saeed. Um, similarly, like someone's name is Mubarak. Okay, and someone called his name. So we say that, okay, our day will be uh, Mubarak. There will be Baraka in our life. So th that's fine. Okay. So when you are al fal. So bad omen, taking the bad omen, considering someone or something or some place bad, it is against the tawheed, against the tawakkul. We are saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have full control over the things, but the things themselves uh, have, you know, effect, have power. So in Surah, Baq, uh, Surah, Surah Fatiha, which we, you know, recite in every prayer, in every rakah of the prayer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us this, 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 you know, dua that we only worship, we worship you only and we seek your help only. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help, which means that no one can help us if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want uh, in one hadith, Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to a Sahabi, I think it's Muaz radiyallahu taala anhu. Uh, Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that if the whole world is united to harm you, they can't harm you if Allah doesn't want. If the whole world is united to 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 benefit you, they can't if Allah subhanahu wa taala doesn't want. So there has to be this aqid. So in this ayah, qalu inna tatayyarna bikum. People accuse those prophets that. You came here and <clears throat> you brought, uh, you, you, you made the situation, the condition, our condition, bad. Okay. So <clears throat> we take bad, bad omen of you. <clears throat> then <clears throat> the reply uh, of the Prophet, uh, the messenger was, <clears throat> that your omen is with you. It is you who are responsible for your good and for your bad. <clears throat> so we continue, inshallah, on the, uh, this topic. Uh, tomorrow we will do a little more, we'll go over uh, this topic of tatayur, taking the good and bad omen more, and then uh, continue then ayah number uh, 18 and then 19. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa